Hey guys, and welcome to Life with Mayor. Today's video, I'm gonna be testing out some tea fall frying pans that I picked up on my last unboxing of Walmart. So keep watching guys to see how these frying pans hold up. So the frying pans that I was using were all scratched up. They were Teflon and everything that I was cooking on them was sticky and I absolutely hated it. I had to use more butter, more oil, and it just, it wasn't cutting it for me. So I decided to go online on Walmart and purchase a couple of frying pans. Now, it's a little bit tricky to buy frying pans because there's so many different kinds. There's the ones with the Teflon on them, which are actually the most common I found out that people use. It's not healthy for you if the Teflon gets scratched however if you take care of it it should be good and durable and a lot of people do use it there's also the cast iron skillets there's also using just the metal frying pans and there's some other non-stick frying pans as well there's so many different varieties I was so overwhelmed I was researching I was googling I was asking people I was doing polls and you know what when it came down to it I just wanted to choose something that was a little bit more cost-efficient would, is something that I could get through every single day and I didn't have to worry about anything sticky. So I bought two different sizes. One was the 10 inch frying pan. This one right here is the Tefal Startup and this has a thermal spot. So basically this one lets you know when it's the perfect cooking temperature for cooking. So when it lights up really red, that means it's time for you to cook. So this is a 10 inch. It says that it's good for the health and environment. It's no PFOA, no lead, no cadmium, and recyclable safe non-stick coating. So this one is Teflon, as you can see here. And it says it's a non-resistant non-stick, expert high resistant non-stick. And it works for gas, electrical, and vitro ceramic stoves. So I thought that this was a good pan. It's a smaller size for frying up some veggies, making some eggs and whatnot. So I'm gonna give this a try actually today by making some fried eggs for the family this morning and gonna see how this holds up throughout the times that I use it. And I did also purchase some bamboo wooden spoons as well as some plastic spatulas to use alongside this because if you use metal, it definitely will scratch it up. So the tough one will get scratched and that's one it will be unhealthy for you. However, if you keep it nice and smooth and don't get any scratches in there, it will be good for you. The second T-Fall frying pan that I picked up was this T-Fall Vivid and this one is larger. It's a 12.6 inch and this one is great for frying up some like chicken cutlets, making a stir fry. It has a soft touchable handle. It also has the thermal spot in the middle here. It's gas, electric, ceramic and halogen. It says it's non-stick coating, has a thermal spot and the soft touch handle and it's resistant non-stick interior and it's also recyclable product with PFOA free coating good for the health and environment. So I'm gonna be trying this one out also. I believe they're pretty much similar, so I'm only gonna try one today and see how this holds up. But it does say that it's the number one cookware in the world. So I wanna know guys, let me know in the comments down below what is your type of frying pan that you guys use? Do you use the Teflon style like this? Do you use the cast iron skillet? Do you use a metal frying pan? Let me know and let me know why you use that one. I'm gonna be using this one because I wanted something non-stick. I wanted to be able to make a fried egg and have it release perfectly. I wanted to be able to make pancakes and not have it stick. And I also wanna make my crepes, which I told you guys I'd be making a video on how I make my crepes. So I need something that's non-stick. And also I've been making a lot of frittadas for the family, which is a really nice fluffy egg omelet dish, guys. And if you want to know how I make that as well, just let me know in the comments down below. But let's get started making some fried eggs for the family and see how this holds up. All right, guys, so regardless if it's non-stick or not, I will add a little bit of oil onto my pan for the fried eggs. I'm gonna let that warm up and then start frying some eggs. Okay, so I'm just waiting here for this thermostat to turn red. I'm not seeing any change right now, so I'm just gonna wait a little while, let that warm up, and then start to fry the eggs. Okay guys, now I see it. It's actually solid red now. Can you guys see that? So there's no more words, it's solid red. That means it's ready for cooking. Okay, I was expecting it to light up, but it actually just turned solid, you see? So now it's ready. picked up 
these non-stick uh, spatulas from Walmart. So this is much better than using the metal one, which I normally use. This one right here, because this will scratch up the teflon, whereas this one will not Wow, all right, so it's easy. Wow, it's just sliding like that. Look at that, it's just sliding across the frame thing. All right guys, gonna flip these and do the ultimate test. Look at that. Easily, easily, easily comes off the frying pan. Wow, look at that. Put the other one. Look at that. Picture perfect eggs. All right guys, so my final verdict for the frying pans is they are amazing. They did not let the eggs stick. However, you do have to use a little bit of oil. If you don't use any oil, it is gonna stick because the second batch of eggs that I did, it didn't turn out as well. It was a little bit hard to flip and they did stick because I didn't add any bit, any more oil. So each time you're frying an egg, you do have to put a little bit of oil. And I was just looking at the packaging before I washed the frying pan actually, and it says that it's a lifetime warranty. So that's good to know as well. So as long as you take care of the frying pans, I think that they'll be really good. So my final verdict is I really like them. I liked that they were nonstick and I think that they'll last a long time as well if we continue to take care of them. So guys, if you're interested in getting frying pans, definitely I give two thumbs up for the Tefal brand of frying pans and we'll be purchasing them again in the future as long as they hold up and do what they're supposed to be doing. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe guys and hit that notification bell as well so you'll know when I make a new video and I'll see you in my next video. Take care guys.